spinning records ain't paying the bills around here. I get paid. $50, Andre. It's a start. When we were just some kids from Compton having some fun in the studio. We never thought that it would be big. You got them hard rhymes? You know, that's all I do. Our whole message at that time was just putting Compton on the map. We were rapping about what was going on in the hood because it was dirty. Where you think you're going? I'm just trying to get home. That's my son. You need to get back in the house or I will ruin your night. Oh, I gotta talk to my moms like that. We took the music and it became our weapon. You had the chance to change the situation. Would you take it? You gotta stand up. NWA tapped into the rebel in all of us. I got a cold ass beat. That hardcore reality rap. So what you talking about doing? Cruising down the street in my six four. Hey, that was dope, eh? No censor, no filters, no nothing. They want NWA? Let's give them NWA. People are scared of you guys. You have a unique voice. The world needs to hear it. Your songs, they glamorize gangs and drugs. Our art is a reflection of our reality. What you see when you go outside your door? I know what I see. You guys supposed to be somewhere? These are artists. Rap is not an art. You cannot come down here and harass my clients because of what they look like. We were the voiceless. And this music gave us a voice. We became a soundtrack for the LA riots. We were sitting back like, see, I told you to everybody that didn't understand what we were doing at the time. This isn't the Crips and Bloods. This is a threat from the federal government. Speak a little truth and people lose their minds. We were just guys from the hood that made something incredible happen. Yo, Dre. What up? I got something to say. How you go from selling rocks in a dope house to eating dinner in a White House? <laughs> Believe a memory.